Hi everyone, it's Nono here, and this is an introduction or an overview on what React is and how we can get started uh, with it and use it in a web application in 2021. This means using some of the latest developments of technologies to manage state and some of the best practices to create your own components and application logic. So let's take a look at what React is. React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, right? You have even a Wikipedia page on uh, what React is, and the original author is uh, Jordan Walk, and the developers are from Facebook and the React community, which is big. So this has been in development at least as uh, an open source project, I think in uh, May, 2013, that's already uh, seven years, almost eight years now. And uh, we're at the version 17. And as of the seven, so 22nd of March, 2021, 23 days ago, the repository lives under uh, Facebook's organization on GitHub and it's written on JavaScript. We're going to be trying to use it today with TypeScript, right? TypeScript is a programming language developed and maintained by Microsoft. It's a strict syntactical superset of JavaScript, right? Uh, this means that we have static typing and we have to define all the object types as we're coding. So we need to define if something is a number or a string or uh, another type of object property as opposed to what we do in JavaScript, that we don't really have to define the type of variables and many other things like classes and functions. And that leads to a lot of debugging as we're running the application instead of before. We can identify a lot of errors beforehand with those typings. And let me actually move uh, to the right and show you here. So the basic usage, notable features, React is a framework that, let, let's go to basic usage, right? So we see here an example where we have a div. So this is an HTML5 div. And this div uh, in your website will be the component response to uh, what's called mount your application, right? So th that div, once the JavaScript calls a uh, function for React to create an application, that application will be mounted there in your website in that specific element. And this is that JavaScript code, so inside of the script tags, is specific to do that. So we're defining in this case, a function and an application which define a component with a JavaScript function that returns a, an H1 component with a props variable, which contains a greeting property. And then we can see here that we have that, that component, that React component, and we're passing the property greeting, and that's what will be rendered. Here we use React DOM to render our application, this app, and then we call our HTML5 element by ID. We're referencing this because this ID matches what's here on, on this code. All right, so that's a really quick introduction. I don't expect you to understand a lot from here if you're not familiar with React, but when we have React, we use it in HTML with JavaScript, but with something called JSX. JSX is a special syntax that merges uh, together some HTML um, markup language with JavaScript, right? So here, this is actually not valid JavaScript, but is valid JSX and is syntax that can be used to retrieve an HTML component from, from our React component. All right, cool. So this is a really brief introduction using uh, Wikipedia, which is weird. Now we can go into the actual um, website of React, which will show us some similar examples. We can take a tutorial to, to go through it. Uh, React has a declarative syntax, is component-based, and uh, ideally you can learn once and write everywhere. So there's something called uh, React Native that allows you to deploy web apps into mobile applications. So it converts into native Android or iOS components. And then with React, we can also render on the server node, which means that we can do what's called server side rendering to then deliver website visitors with uh, static assets, which is a, a static website that gets loaded and it's also SEO friendly and has another properties that is not just for your browser to go into an empty 
website and then JavaScript mounting everything afterwards with my lead to programs in terms of SEO. Single component. All right. So here we have, this is a, a live JSX editor, which means that we can preview the, the results here on the right. And if we, hello there, this is right. So as I type here, we can see the, the, the result on the right, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, we're defining here a basic component, right? We're defining a class that is called hello message that extends the basic react component inside of it. We have a div and inside of the div, we're showing the word hello and a prop, right? So the props are received by the component automatically. Uh, when we do this, when we do hello message, which is our component and pass a name. So for example, we could put here last name, for example, Smith. Now here we could do this props, uh, last name, right? So we have Taylor Smith or we could put here Taylor Swift. All right. What we have here, this is, is really cool because we can, I guess that we can prototype here with other things. So for example, we could do add an H1 a title and we have this here. And we could now say that we're actually passing the name and a title. So this is Swift. And then we do here this props title and we get this rendered, right? There are many things that we can do here, but at the end of the day, we have what we had before. We define a component and then we define a, or we call the render function with a reference to where we want to mount that component and our application. So this here is a react app, for instance, we could have done it in this way. So for example, our app could be, and then we can put this here, right? So we define the, the app variable and then we render that in here, right? So this is our reference. So we could also abstract this a bit more with constant ref here, and then put our ref in there. Great. So that in summary, is like doing this, right? So we're calling react DOM render app in ref, right? So this is app and this is the reference to our location, in which we want to mount our application. And if we go here, you see here, this is hello example. And if I zoom in into the, the actual website code, I can see that there is an, a div that has the hello example ID. And uh, what that means is that we have, we're referencing that div here. And originally that didn't have any, any application there. If we remove JSX, let me take this out so you can see. If we remove the, the JSX code, you get this really ugly syntax, which I don't recommend you use, which, you know, it's, you have to create an element per HTML markup item. And you end up with this weird code, right? I think this looks a lot more readable, even this more. All right. So that's a really quick intro uh, to what React is. Uh, there are more samples here that you can browse through. So this is a markdown editor, for instance, a get raw markup, this markdown render test, right? So we can get markdown rendered this, that. And then this one, which is counting, we could actually, this is ticking every second. We could say, okay, tick now every 50 milliseconds. And then this goes a lot faster, right? So it's really dynamic. It's really cool. And it's really cool how they did this to, to preview. All right. So we can go to GitHub. So this is where react lives. So this is, you can see there's 14,000 commits. Two hours ago was the last comic into the master branch. There are many releases. And uh, there's a huge, like a really big amount of people. So used by 6.2 million people and 1500 people are contributors. The main one being these guys from Facebook. All right, cool. I will just remind you to like the video. This is a really good way to support the channel and the work that I'm doing here and to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, because this is a way in which you can get notifications when I go live next or when I upload new videos. You should join us on the Discord community if that's something you want to do. It's nonodoma slash Discord. 
a lot of people there. Yeah. And thanks a lot for watching and I'll hopefully see you next time.